Let's get into it. Thank you. Lovely. Yeah. A bit late today, aren't you, Patrick? We are, mate. <laughs> How much are these green ones? Two pounds. Sold. To my kitchen. So it's quite long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How much are they? So it's eleven. Did you say? <laughs> Four quid taken. I've had someone else to love a little as well. Yeah, go on then, I'll do it for a fiver. Let me come yeah, I'll, I'll put it behind. I'll you a fiver. Five squid. Lovely stuff. Oh, Thank sorry, you, sir. Appreciate yeah. it, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. That's a shame. Hello, mate. You right? Oh, you. We were just talking about you earlier. Yeah. I'll just be busy, been busy, busy, mate. Have oh, you been keeping well there, mate? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah all right, mate. There's two jacks on the side. them. How much are the caps? Oh, oh. <laughs> Relax. Twenty p each. I'm gonna buy them all then. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a pound as well. Yeah, cool. And there's four. You can have a pound. It's all right. No drama. How much is the game? Then you then you'll be like What's the chances of it even all being Oh pound, Let's get first squidder. Cool, cool, cool. How much is that mate? Oh it's you! Oh, this is going to be expensive, isn't it? Look, look. <laughs> me an offer. That's a one-handed PlayStation controller. Right, no, yeah. It's a pretty limited market because I'm looking for one-handed <laughs> boat. But... Got it here now. Uh, ah. uh, sold. <laughs> it's really rare, that is. What is it? It's a one-handed PlayStation controller. Gangers. He's come off a one-handed guy. <laughs> he died. You wanted me up, didn't you? No, seriously. <laughs> okay. You Google it. Google I it believe and you'll you. see. I think I saw it for over £100. Fucking hell, well, there's no way I'm, there's no way I'm buying it then. No, no, no. It's got a rattle in it. Someone's dropped it. Go on, how much? Well, I wanted tenner for that. That is cheap. Oh, let me look into it. Let me look it up. I've got to look it up first, haven't I? I've never seen one before. And you know Patrick, he does the games down here. He's never seen one. Can't find them anywhere. You do better than a tenner on it? I will do eight, only because it's you, and you're, you drive such a hard bargain with me. But I can't do any honest, I won't do any less than I think I'll have a risk for eight. Yeah. And worst case scenario is, I'll chop the kid's hand off and get some use out of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I when I've not seen some, I have to own it. Good Beautiful, man. right, let me go and make up some lost time if I'm standing around this door too long. No, I appreciate, <laughs> no, I appreciate, I appreciate it too, Mark. Come, come have another wander. All right, lads. What have we got in there? How much are they? That's two quid. Two quid. I don't know if I can do that. Would you do a pound each if I bought four? So four quid? Yeah, sure. Lovely. Yeah. Good. Look left and right, it's like the highway code, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> how, how much is that? I don't know, what is it? Oh, it's a blood pressure monitor. Yeah, it's in there. So it should all be packed up. I don't think that's been used. I mean, five, five pound. I don't even know how much they are on one. Ah oh boy, here we go. Of, uh, what model is it? M2? M2. So I'm on an M2 basic, it's £23 in our got So if you're after it. No, I'll leave it for a fiver, mate. Somebody might buy it though. So I won't try and I won't try and haggle you down just yet. It's still early, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit. It's still early, mate, so you'll do. I'm sure they'll sell. Come back and see me see you later. And yeah, if it's still there, I'll ask you again. Yeah, even, that is one of the. Even got the chest there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is one of the, the proper ones, but I can't find the little certificate tag. Bit. What do you mean proper? Oh, like, is it? Oh, yeah. oh okay. it was collector's. Oh, okay. How much is he? Uh, five. Five. What about eight for the pair of these? Get them both sold for a pound off each. Yeah. So it's five for that and three for that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Of course, of course. Sit in one's and one's one. Okay. Right, let me just... Uh, no, no, fine. Let me just... Um, I bet I still find a way to break him on the way around. Hopefully I don't, because he's lovely. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate that. Hope you sell, hope you sell, hope you sell out. How much are the boots? These are these. Are these your boots? Yeah. How much are the boots? £12. Thanks anyway. Would £4 take that? Is it? Fiver. Um, no, £5, sorry. I'll take £4.50. Done. I feel like I have to win a battle. <laughs> right, 4 I've lost a leg, I'm alright, I can do that. You've got your cameras in case I get annoyed with you? No, not for, no, no, no. <laughs> Put you on a bike? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll do, I'll do YouTube. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. How much is this one, mate? Three quid. Three? Yeah. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sold. Feel free to Small. Yeah. Yeah. South African one is, is a bit bigger, but yeah. Yeah, I think the size is going to be a bit too small. I'm not too sure. That's 250. That's from the tour. Oh. You know what? I'm, a, I'm a sucker. I love Eminem. Yeah. Did you watch him live? Yeah. Oh, man. 2001. Lucky. I missed him, but my chance I was going to see him would have been, been reading. Yeah. I missed it. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame about the size of those ones. I'll take him though. I've got to take him and him. Oh. No, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I couldn't do much with these, I'm afraid. <sighs> no, I will, I will leave it, I will, I will leave it. But thank you ever so much, though. Right. No, honestly, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you, you too. <laughs> How much are these two? Five for the quid take it? Yeah, yeah I like to push my luck. Oh, you got it, you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have ran away scared. Yeah, I know. No, we're all here, aren't we? So, yeah, I'm so sorry, man. Don't worry about it. I'll try not to do that. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very you much. Too. Sorry to be a pain in the ass. Don't worry about it, man. What the bloody hell do I know? Yeah, but that, that's how you tell the new ones. <laughs> the old ones. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to buy them just for the nostalgia. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I couldn't tell you if that's a good deal or not. Thank I've no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much. Have fun with them. Yeah, thank you. It's a bit loud, isn't it? How much is it? Three pounds. Three? I think I might have to do for three quid. I might keep people out of my way. And what about that? Pardon me. Uh, so this one and this one probably, yeah? Let's have, a look. Let's have a double look at this one first. Yeah, go on then, so four quid over, yeah? Quid, yeah. There's that, and there's that. that. <laughs> wow! Smashed it today! Did really well today, and there are going to be some things that didn't quite make the camera, so be sure to hang around for the haul. Now, I don't want to blow my own trumpet. But, smashed it today. Let's get into it. In no particular order, we have these TF Gear Real Tree boots. They're waterproof, they're for fishing, wading, hunting, all that kind of thing. They are very sought after and they can command a lot of money. I haven't been able to find this exact model yet, but there is one with some leather trim which is going around the edges that people are seeming to ask around 80 to 90 pound for. Now I know they sell well and they're a good size as well. I paid the man five pound for these. Absolute bargain, they stink of stagnant water but you expect those kinds of things and there's mud falling off all over the place can you hear it but for five pound well worth a pickup so the things you want to look out for here is the brand tf gear and real tree now real tree is the camo design that's around it so they're both separate companies and they've obviously collaborated and made these corkers i'll get these cleaned up nicely and i should be looking at around about 50 pound back on those 
Sticking with the footwear now, this was the first pickup of the day. This was the pickup that broke the cycle. I always like to pick up an item straight away because then it gets me into the buying mood. Otherwise, everything just falls apart. But two pounds I paid for these. They're a size seven women's. Nice green colour, so they're Emma size, so I better try and keep these away from her actually. But two pounds paid on these are in fantastic condition. Little bit of marks on the edges, but nothing a baby white boy and sort out. Two pound paid, should be looking at about 20, 25 pound back on those. Nice bread and butter sale. Keeps the shop moving nicely. This was a pickup where I think I let nostalgia get the best of me. They are cast iron coasters, which have the claws on. When I was growing up, my grandparents used to have these. They were on the bottoms of all the furniture. I just saw them and was like, they must, they must be old. I know, I know they're old, I can tell by the way they're made but they were five pound for the lot, so I took them. Hopefully I should be looking at around about 25 to 30 pound back on them, but I don't know, I need to do some more research. I'm not too worried about the five pound that I spent. I think my money is definitely safe regarding at least getting my money back, but I've seen some sales going as low as five pound for a set of four, and I've seen some go for as high as 35, but they were nicely polished up brass. These are not, these are not brass. They are cast iron, so. Who knows? However, I paid £5, the damage is now done and it's my problem to deal with. But I don't really think it's going to be a problem. In-car DVD player. £5 on a tag. Spent about 10 minutes getting her down to £4.50. It's a Philips one. Nice looking one. Made out of a nice metal casting. Really, really solid. However, when you turn it on, it's got a screen issue. I did share that on my Instagram. So if you're not following my Instagram, the link is down below in the description. I always share my wins, my loses, my fails and my gains on there on a daily basis. £4.50 paid, it's scrap, so I'm going to end up parting it out. Luckily the remote control alone sells for £8, so I'm not going to lose money, but I'm not going to make as much as I should have done, because this should have been a £30 sale. But I'll also sell the charging leads and things like that as well. So... You win some, you lose some. A little pampered chef bundle. Now I picked these up because something rang around in my brain where I could hear somebody saying, if you ever see pampered chef, pick it up. But I can't remember who it was or where I'd seen it. But I saw pampered chef, so I picked it up. I think I paid four pound for the pair, if I remember rightly. I'm pretty sure I did. I've got a cookie press and a set of two plates. They're, like, they're called squares. They're, uh, they're called squares, but they're like plates. And I'm imagining that's the design, the polka dot on them. But I'll show you in close up. But I paid £5 for the pair. I can't actually open this one because it's sealed, so I'm going to keep that one sealed. I don't know about the cookie press because I'm seeing some solds go for as low as 5 to £10. And this one here, the dishes, I can't actually open because it is still factory sealed. It's got like a perforation across the back. So I'll be keeping that sealed and as it is. But £4 for the pair. Hopefully I'll get my money back on the cookie press and then make some profit on the squares, their plates. So we've got a little bundle of imaginators here. This little dude goes for about five to ten pound. I paid a pound each on these. They wanted two pound each. I paid them a pound each. This one only about a tenner. Now, when it comes to imaginators, Skylanders, and things like that, I always pick up the ones that I've don't I've never seen before because I've seen quite a lot of them. So if I haven't seen them, I'll always take a punt. Not too worried about that. This one sells for about twelve to fifteen pounds. But this one here is the winner of all. I can't remember its name. Double scythe something something or rather hooded scythe. It is a imaginator. And it's a bit more sought after. Looking at around about £25 to £35 back on that. That is what the comps are, so that is where my estimation lies. I'm going to be listing it for probably £29.95 free postage and see if I can get shot of it quickly because I'm in the game of selling, not hoarding. But Imaginators. Imaginators are the ones that have these little diamond-shaped bottoms here. So if you ever see those, pick them up, especially if they're cheap enough, take a risk. There'll be people out there screaming at me saying, why are you giving away the secrets? It's not a secret. The information is out there to be found. I am just another avenue. I'm just another channel being able to give you the information. And there it is. So anybody hating? <coughs> 1992 Thunderbirds International Rescue Board Game. Bit shabby. Box is a bit beaten. But it was only a pound so I had to pick it up. It's only worth about 10 to 12 quid believe it or not. It looks like all the pieces are still there. The board looks in good condition. All the pieces seem to be present. But who knows? Oh, that one's a bit... The incident card's a bit knackered. But anyway... It was one of those things again where it was cheap and older, so I bought it. Eastinic keyboard, 50 pence for this. It's a Bluetooth activated connected thing, little case there to fold it up, and it's a folder. So you unfold it and type your memos and your emails and your letters of complaints to people. I'd never heard of the brand before, but it was cheap, so I bought it. 
50 pence. It's got this lot of sort of metal case, so it feels like it's quite well made. But I'll let you know if it works. I bought it without the lead. That's why I said I can have it for 50 pence. But if it works, I'll let you know. I'm estimating around about 15 to 20 pound back on that. I can't imagine it'll be much less than that. It's a cool little piece of kit. Some engineering's gone into it. Hopefully, it's not junk. Couple of little Smurf slikes now. We have Azriel the cat and Gargamel. They're the birthday party range. I believe that means something. I was looking online doing my research. Paid a pound each for these. The geezer said that somebody had already cleared out a load more before, which obviously left me a little bit bleh, But it is what it is. Paid a pound each. I'm going to bundle them together. Probably put a list of around about £18 online and see if I can get that to work. If not, I can always lower it or I could split them out. But I think I'm just going to put them together and get them shifted. A little Spectra video controller. I bought this off my main man, Pat. He's the old school legend. The one that always gets the gaming stuff. He saw about a little deal on this. A pound. Should be looking about 12 to 15. Nothing spectacular. But once I've got all the fees and stuff gone, I'll have about nine pound profit, I should imagine. He told me it works. And you know what? Pat's a man of his word and I'll trust him. <laughs> I bought this off another chap who's always at the car boot sales, can't remember his name, I don't think he watches my videos anyway so he's not going to care, but it's a one handed PS, I believe it's marketed as a PS3, even though it looks very PS2, but it's a PS2, PS3 hand controller, I've done some research onto it and CEX will buy these off me for £25 in voucher and they sell it for 55 so I'm going to list it on eBay for $49.99, I've never seen one before, take a look at it, all those little buttons and stuff, so many different little things, he thought you are supposed to market it to a man who's only got one hand I suppose it would be handy for somebody who's only got one hand maybe that is actually what it's supposed to be for but I would imagine it's not it's got a 2010 sticker on there so it probably is the um, PlayStation 3 what a cool little bit of kit looking forward to testing that and seeing how much we can get out of it I'll always let you know picked up not one not two not three but four Bud King of Beers caps they're awesome, they're all in dead stock condition, I don't know how old they are, I don't know if they're actually vintage or if they're a newer edition, but I can't imagine Bud banging out any King of Beers things recently, I think that was more of a 90s, early 2000s promotion, wasn't it, King of Beers? I could be wrong, it could be their forever promotion, but uh, 20 pence each, gave her a pound to keep the change because I'm such a saint. Hopefully I should be looking at about 15 to 18 pound back a cap on those, so that's very, very nice indeed. Shall I wear one? No. This was a smart little deal. Picked up two things. There's a two part of this one. We've got an Omron blood pressure monitor. I've sold these a thousand times before. We wanted five pound. I paid him four because the other thing was five pound and I paid him four. I paid him eight pound for the pair. You know how it goes. Should be looking at around about 15 quid back on that. That will bring my cost of goods down to zero on the next item and that's the way you got to look at things sometimes look at things as a whole not as an individual item four pound paid on that looking at around about 15 quid back and this little charmer it's our boy freddy i've done some research and these were a limited run look at him with his little adidas kicks on it does come off his base they're by a company called Endure or something like that. There was only 5,000 made. The lady told me there was a certificate of authenticity with this, which I didn't really care about, but now it makes sense. She, she didn't have it anyway. She told me she'd lost it, but I was like, yeah, whatever. But the ones I'm seeing online all have the certificate to show which number it was. This one doesn't, so it's going to hinder the price. However, somebody has sold one in a box with everything in it for £250. Somebody sold one as it is for £149. So I should be listing this Probably £129.99, get it out there, anybody who knows what it is will understand what it is and know it's not a fake, they just won't be able to tell which item run number it is, and they'll still pay for it. So, £4 paid on that, yeah, lovely little piece. Bicycle, bicycle. We've got some clothing bits to get through now, and you want to stick around because there are some absolute smashes in here. I'll get through it quite quickly though, because there's not that many. Perfect time for the season, we've got a Rossignol ski jacket, really wild colours, really wacky zappy kind of design, it's a nice big size, I think it's a man's but it could well be a lady's, but we don't really care about that. It was £3, now I'm seeing people selling these for approximately £50 to £60, depending on the jacket, somebody's got 125 for one of these before, but it's got really really nice design, that sort of aztec -y camo, sort of digital, it's purple, it's blue, it's just, it's a nice, it's a really 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 nice jacket. And and I'm going to try it on if it fits me. I might not make it to the store this season. But, again, I'm a reseller, not a hoarder, so I've got to sell it. It's got those little finger cuffs. It's a really nice one. So it's a nice little brand to look out for. There's the label for anybody who wants to see it properly. Happy days. £3 paid on that one. 
Very standard little Fred Perry polo pickup. It's a size medium, paid 50 pence. It's in this sort of like cream yellow kind of colour. Really, really nice piece, especially for the price I paid 50p. Should be looking at around about 20 quid back on that, I should imagine. A Fila Ferrari Vodafone Shell sponsored short sleeve shirt. I thought this would be worth a hell of a lot more than what it is. But actually, it's not. The ones I'm seeing, they're selling between 10 to 30 pound, which is not ideal. But then again, I only paid 50p for it. It's car boot prices, so I don't really mind too much. It is a XL, so it's a nice big size. I just thought I was going to see more of a performance out of this one. But 50 pence into anywhere up to around about 25 pounds, should we say. And that's, of course, if I don't do any more research after this and find out that it's worth a bit more. I'm happy with that. A very standard buttonless Henry White Gillet liner. Nothing too spectacular going on there. I mean, it's pretty boring, really. But that was with the ski jacket. She let me have this for a pound. Uh, maybe 15, 20 quid back on that. I won't waste your time with that one too much. Sticking with the Budweiser theme, we have this Budweiser Budvar t-shirt. Really nice little piece. Should imagine it's 2010s, give or take. It's on the Gildan tag. But it does have the original Budweiser official tag in there as well. Paid a pound for that off the guy that I bought the fishing boots from. Hopefully 18 quid back on that. Probably the wrong season now. I'm going to save it for the summer. But I'll still list it. Get it up there. Might as well. Hey, what's the point of having it hanging around? This is really smart. It's a New York Central Park sort of really funky design. It is all single stitched on that vintage Haynes tag. Haynes went tagless in a roundabout. I can't remember actually. I'll probably put some facts up here for you. But it's a really nice t-shirt. It's size large ladies. But it's probably very very small. Or large children. Either way it's a lot old large. 14 to 16. So 14 to 16 year old. It's a really really cool little piece isn't it? I can see that flying out. That's a, that's a Depop special that is. But I don't really do Depop to be honest with you. So if anybody likes this, it's in good condition. Really nice little funky thing. The pattern's in nice condition. No cracking. Hit me up. Just thought it was awesome. Leeds United Football Club Nike rain jacket on that early 2000s tag. I think this is 2002, 2003, maybe 2004. But it's in very good condition and I paid £3 for it. Easy £60 there, surely. The hood is still present, the hood is still there, so we'll do well on that. Unless the hood is actually not in there and it's just been stuffed with £50 notes. We'll take that as well. No, it's the hood, sadly. But yeah, what a really nice piece for £3 as well. Yeah, come on then. Smashing. Boom. What a beauty. Eminem. European 2001 tour. This is the anger management tour. It is an original. It is stamped up at the bottom, year 2000. And I spoke out to my main man Bailey as well, just for some double clarification. And he agrees. This is an OG edition. This is from the lady that I bought the Central Park t-shirt from. Absolute smasher. Eminem is a rapper that I grew up with. Is a musician that played a part on my influence and my growing up. Like most people have somebody that they listen to predominantly growing up. And mine was Eminem. He's a boomer now though, but still, still slaps. £2.50 I paid for that, but it's a grail. It's very, very rare, very hard to find and very, very sought after, especially with that chainsaw edition. It does have a little bit of a separation on the shoulder, on the hem, but that's not a problem because it's not a, really a rip. It's just popped seams, so somebody could restitch that. That's a might even do it myself. It's a medium, but the condition is fantastic, apart from that little pop seam there. Solds are anywhere from two to £700. Listings anywhere from four to nine hundred dollars. I think the real Slim Shady needs to really, really, really stand up. If you enjoyed that and you want to stick around, watch me smash a charity shop to pieces.